Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Proxima Midnight. Now you don't see a lot of gameplay uh, with Proxima Midnight, and there's a reason for that. She does take a bit of ramp up, and I am not overly fond of ramp up champions. However, in my previous video, you saw that I did take her to rank 4, and I had a reason. I usually bring her along with Corvus in Alliance Quest for that synergy. And it's a true strike synergy, so when they evade and I complete that mission with Corvus, they can no longer evade. So that is very useful in Alliance Quest when you're doing certain paths and against the Prove Yourself Mesmerize node, it is essential. All right, so let's take a look here at her attributes. Uh, we took a look at this already in the uh, rank up and gameplay video. Let's uh, switch over here so you can see her percentages. And let's take a look at her synergies. And she's got some pretty good synergies with uh, Nebula here. You get uh, when True Strike is active, her attack rating is increased by 15%. I actually do use this synergy uh, in the test you'll see. Uh, you've got Asgardian Hunt. Uh, she gains a combo shield whenever she has less than 50 hits in her combo meter. I activate that as well. Uh, you got special assist. Now, this is a synergy that she has with Corvus. This is not the synergy that Corvus has with her. I really wish that they would display it a little bit better so that you could see all of the synergies that others have with this champion. But uh, for that, you'd have to go to the Aunt May site. It does a great job of displaying that. All right, so special assist, uh, her ultimate mission, and we'll see that when we look at her abilities, this is her signature ability. Uh, it, the requirement goes down to 75 hits. Normally it's uh, 100. And then you have a plus 7% attack, which is also pretty good. All right, let's take a look at her abilities. And I just mentioned the signature ability called ultimate mission. So when she reaches 100 hits on her combo meter, that's a mission complete. So if she's not awakened, she doesn't have this mission. So you're just losing damage. She does not have to be awakened, but you lose quite a bit of damage when she's not. Okay. Now, when this mission is completed, she gains a fury buff for every mission completed at that time. Each increasing her attack and, you know, by a certain amount for the rest of the fight. So like I said before, in my previous video, she excels at longer fights, okay? Uh, when completing this mission, uh, she activates a permanent true accuracy passive effect. So now let's take a look at her abilities here. Missions from Thanos. This is the thing that you want to know the most about Proxima Midnight. She has three missions to accomplish four if you count her signature ability she can complete these missions one at a time and it's going to be a random order so when you start the fight one of these missions is going to be active you don't know which one and when you complete that mission another one will randomly appear so you have no control over the order and you have to complete them one at a time. With Corvus, on the other hand, you have a bit of control. If you see a mutant, you can attack that mutant, and it doesn't matter what other missions you have completed. Okay? Um, so those are the three missions. You have parry, intercept, and incapacitate. Parry is straightforward. Uh, you just have to perform uh, well-timed blocks, which is your parry. Intercept, you have to perform four intercepts, uh, intercepts, intercepts against a dashing opponent. And incapacitate just means you have to knock them down five times uh, using a heavy or a special. And you'll see me do that in the gameplay. OK, uh, when she completes an objective, now pay attention to this. Uh, on one of her missions, she gains true accuracy for five seconds, allowing her to ignore auto block and all evade effects. So if you're wondering what true accuracy was when you heard 
uh, me mention it before, that's what it does. She ignores auto block and evades. Now, whenever completing a mission, she gains a prowess buff that increases her special damage by 250 per mission completed for 10 seconds. So what that means is that as she completes the mission, she's gonna gain more and more. So the first one's gonna be 250. The second one's gonna increase it by 500%. Okay, you got that. So it just keeps ramping up until she has all the missions completed. It lasts for 10 seconds. And then you're gonna get a permanent one that does 200% for the rest of the fight. So what that means is that if you fire off your special right after you complete a mission, you're gonna be doing more damage for 10 seconds. And then after that, you're gonna still do more damage permanently. And you're gonna see where that plays uh, into how I maximized her damage or got very close to maximizing her damage uh, in the video. All right, when she's attacked, if she has more than 30 hits of her combo, she can activate a safeguard. When attacked by a projectile, preventing her from losing more than 3% of her max health from a single source for four seconds. This cute can helpful, be helpful. But look at her blocking. Opponents have a 200% offensive ability accuracy reduction when she blocks an attack. Additionally, she can use the parry mastery against any basic attack. So that means she can stun them, uh, stunning opponents, even if their attack is a projectile. I'm looking at you, Iron Man Infinity War. Yes, she can parry Iron Man Infinity War's projectile attack. Uh, if you've ever tried to parry him, you'll know that that first, uh, I think it's a medium, is a projectile. And so his medium attacks cannot be parried, but she can. She can parry his medium attacks. All right, now here are her special attacks. The first special attack, uh, it activates a regeneration buff. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, if the opponent has a regeneration buff or a passive, uh, it's going to do more damage. And it also inflicts a heal block that will prevent the target from recovering health for seven seconds. And if Proxima has more than 50 hits on her combo, then the duration of that heal block is doubled. So you get 14 seconds instead of seven. On the special attack two, it has a stun for two seconds. However, it doesn't say it here, but that special two attack does some respectable damage, as you will see. And of course, if you fire off the special two after you've completed a mission or two, it does a lot of damage. And the special three, by far, is her most damaging attack. It stuns the opponent for six seconds. It inflicts an armor break. It removes one armor up buff. So it is vicious. And you're gonna see just how vicious in a moment when we look at the gameplay, all right? So let's head on into Realm of Legends and play around with Winter Soldier, all right? So you can see the team is the same team as I went in with in the previous video, the rank up and gameplay video. So all of her synergies are active. Now, my goal in this gameplay here was to do better than I did in the previous one. So with Proxima, you want to pretty much complete her missions. And the mistake that I made before was losing the combo so you couldn't see that fourth mission completed. So in this try here, I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose my combo, completed all three missions, and then showed you just how powerful her attack could be when you combine the temporary prowess buffs with the permanent ones. So remember that after each mission, she's gonna get a temporary and then it's gonna get converted to a permanent. Okay, after every mission. All right, so this mission here is the incapacitate. So you're seeing me firing specials, doing whatever I need to do to 
knock him down. And since I'm running suicides, that's also something to bear in mind. Uh, her damage is going to be a little bit inflated. All right, so you saw the temporary prowess, and now it's permanent. And we completed that first mission. Okay, so her damage just was ramping up. And I'm not a big fan of ramp up champions, which is why I didn't really care for Proxima. Not because she's not good. All right, so now we're doing the uh, parry mission. Okay, so we're just trying to parry him. We've got a couple of more. He's playing a little coy. So I just went ahead and fired off a special because I got impatient. All right, but I still need to do the parry. After all of that, I needed to do the parry. So that's extra hits that if you were looking at the hit counter at the end, don't. Uh, what you need to do is look at the uh, damage that she did. Okay? Because I could have done this in fewer hits uh, than I did by, you know, not doing what you saw me do there. All right, so we got that second mission done. We've got the two permanent prowess. Now we've got the mission I hate the most, the intercept mission. Okay, so you see here, I'm just going in, boom. He's playing this time very nicely with me. Now we have them all, but watch this. See all those temporary prowess? and the permanent prowess. Watch what happens now when I fire off my special three with all of those buffs on, the temporary and the prowess, I mean the uh, permanent. Look at that damage. Look at this damage, guys. That's some nasty damage, isn't it? Fight's over with. All right, so that is gonna do it, guys. That is Proxima Midnight. Uh, she can do an insane amount of damage on that special three. She does take a little bit of ramp up. Uh, I know in Labyrinth of Legends, she will hit the damage cap uh, by doing this. When she first came out, this is the type of video people showed, but they didn't realize how much ramp up it took to get her to that point. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all... Have a blessed day.